Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Saving Sunderland. Now today we've got the two-legged semi-final against Standard Liège in the Europa League but there has been some Premier League fixtures since we last met. So obviously the last time we met was the last Roma game which we drew 2-2. We'll follow that up with a 1-0 away defeat to Watford. We didn't create many, very many chances here. I think this was the one game where we've really missed Lincoln up top. And in the second and final game before the semi-final, we drew 0-0 away at Tottenham. We did miss a 53rd minute penalty through Moyes Keane. And Francisco Trincao got himself injured in this game, which actually means he will miss the semi-final first leg against Standard. We had made our three substitutions at this point, so we did play the last 20 minutes or so with 10 men and we managed to hold out for the draw. So with Lincoln still not fully fit, this is how we're going to line up. Right, give it in goal. Rios, Diaz, Montez, centre-backs, Tierney, Lerola on right wing-back and left wing-back, Phil Foden and Guendouzi in the centre, with Watmore on the right, Keane on the left and Cabrera up top. And we kick off against Standard, away from home, we are shooting from left to right, let's hope the boys can do the business in the first leg so we don't have to worry about the second leg too much. Highlight now with Sunland on this left-hand side, Keane to Guendouzi in the centre, he's got runners on the inside, but what's happened here, it's gone through to Duncan Watmore, he takes the strike, a good save. If that was either side of the keeper, I think it was going in with the power he took on that shot. It's going to be a corner. Phil Foden plays it in. It's going to be cleared and it's going to be the end of highlight. Highlight now. Us on this right-hand side. Lerola to Watmore to Guendouzi. Phil Foden's on the edge of the box. He takes the strike. It ricochets off one of the defenders and it hits the post. Oh, we'll stand with a free kick on the edge of the box. Nearly very close. And that's going to be half-time. Nil-nil. Not too many chances to speak of. We haven't really created anything clear-cut just yet. Hopefully the second half will be an improvement. 65 minutes in. Not a lot happened this second half. We're going to make some changes. We're going to get Phil Foden off for Mamadou Koulibaly. We'll get Lerola off for Christiansen and we'll save our last sub just in case there's another injury. Highlight here, standard a high up the pitch. If we can catch the ball here, we'll break, but they're keeping the ball well in the centre. Ricky Richie is through and he nearly scored. Cabrera's having a poor game up top. We might have to think about maybe bringing on Alassie and play in his position, which is a change I'm going to make right now. One minute left in this game, there's a highlight. Gwendouzi, is this going to be an opportunity? Moyes Keane on the edge of the box. He takes the strike, an absolutely brilliant save from their keeper. And I think that's going to spell the end of the game. Yeah, that was the end of the game. The last highlight, that actually meant something. Full time, nil-nil against Standard Liège in the first leg. I'm not too disappointed, obviously, with that being away from home. We'll take them back to the stadium alight and hopefully we'll get the victory. There has been one game in between our two Europa League legs. We won 5-0 against Brighton at home. Routine victory. Alessi and Pelé getting himself a hat-trick. I think he's probably earned himself a start if Lincoln is not back fit and ready. Mamadou Koulibaly and Matty Orios finishing off the goals for us. Oh, and just quickly... Because of that victory against Brighton, we have qualified for the Champions League. That's right, so we'll be playing Champions League football next year. And we have a budget for our summer transfers of 96 million. Lovely jubbly. So, we're at the day of the second leg. And this is the team we're going to go with. Lincoln finds himself back in the team. He's fit. He's a little bit lacking in match fitness, but we've got Alassie in play on the bench should we need him. Right, Gavik's in goal. Rios, Diaz, Montez, centre-backs. Christensen, right wing-back. Tierney, left wing-back. Koulibaly and Gwendouzi in the centre, Cabrera on the right, Moise Keane on the left, and obviously Lincoln up top. So we kick off against Standard Liège, knowing we need to win this game. You know, there's no away goals, there's no trickery here. If we draw or get beat, we are out, as long as it's not nil-nil. Highlight here, we've got a throw-in on the left-hand side, Lincoln's out wide, he knocks it into Cabrera. If that was the highlight, why are you showing me this? As it turns out, it might not have been the highlight. The highlight continues with Keane on this left-hand side. Gwendouzi in the centre plays it through to Lincoln. He takes the strike. Very, very close. Another highlight. Right hand side this time. Cabrera to Christensen. Lincoln in the box. It falls to Koulibaly. He slots it away. It's 1 0 Sunderland in the second leg against Standard. As you can see here, good work on the right by Cabrera and Christensen. It manages to find its way to Koulibaly. And we are 1 0 up. We've got something to protect now. Another highlight. We have the ball with Gwendouzi in the centre. He plays it out to Tierney on this left-hand side. The ball eventually finds its way back to Gwendouzi and Koulibaly in the centre. Is there any movement from anybody? Come on. Lincoln up front. He, oh, he had the ball through that at Gwendouzi. Cabrera finds himself in the box and he scored. What a great strike this must have been. It was a tight angle. And if that was my keeper, I would probably be disappointed. As you can see here, Gwendouzi plays it through to Lincoln. I thought that was the ball to Gwendouzi. But Christensen plays through Cabrera in the box. And he manages to put it away with the keeper. Just doesn't, he just doesn't bother. Yeah, 
Just let it get in. We're already getting beat. 2 0 Sunderland. We're in the driving seat. Another highlight. We're in the 38th minute now. Moyes King comes inside. He finds Cabrera in the box again. He tries to get it. And Lincoln's just picked up and let. This is it. Lincoln's coming off. Save him. Protect him. Alice in plays coming on up top. It's half time. I've jaded the boys up. We'll get back out for the second half. I'm expecting a routine professional performance from them. Highlight now. Standard Liege give the ball away sloppily. Play to Gwenduzi in the centre. He's got Christensen over. Oh my god, what a strike, Matteo Gwenduzi. As you can see here, throw in for Standard Liege, but they give it away really sloppily. Play finds Gwenduzi. I'm thinking there's a runner on the right hand side, but he doesn't need them. He absolutely bangs it. Slots a bottom corner. The keeper can't do anything. 3 0. 3 0 now. 15 minutes to go. I feel comfortable enough to make a couple of changes. I'm going to get Harley Johnson on for. Mamadou Koulibaly, and I'm going to get Duncan Watmore on for Enzo Cabrera. And the time's just ticking away. We're in the 92nd minute of extra time. 10 seconds to go. We're keeping the ball well. Gwen Doozy in the centre here. Come on, ref. Just put them out of the misery. Moyes Keane's got the ball. Is that a challenge? Get him off. Get a red card as well. No, not getting a red card. Full time. 3-0 Sunderland. 3-0 on aggregate. We're through to the Europa League final. Let's go and take a peek. See who we're playing. Our toughest... Test yet, probably. Red Bull Leipzig in the Europa League final. A replay of our first knockout round in the Champions League from last season. We know that they've got Gabriel Jesus. We know that they've got Sabitzer. We know that they've got Hyung Min Song. This will be a tough challenge. So looking forward to the next episode. We do obviously have the Europa League final. And I will play the Burnley game. The final game in the Premier League. So we'll see where we finish in both competitions. And just for reference. The lowest we can fall is obviously fourth position. Which is highly unlikely because of our superior goal difference. We can't get second place. So third place is pretty much where we're going to finish. So we're through to the Europa League final. And if we win that. That will be our second competition won this season. Along with the League Cup. And obviously in the next episode we'll be playing that final Premier League game and the Europa League final. If you have enjoyed today's video please consider leaving a like and if you're enjoying my content get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.